So you had switched lens type thing. Now you're in the shot. America. There. Do we have to stop and start again? No, I didn't even press record yet. Yeah, it's recording. Oh, it's recording right now? Yeah. Hi! <laughs> Hi. Good afternoon. I don't like it. Hi, we're gonna do a taste test today. It has to be made in America. And we paid. <laughs> Hi, we're gonna do a taste test today. We've bought, got three different kinds of popcorn that we are going to try. One is Dippin' Dots Frosted Caramel Popcorn. Where did we get these? Big Lots. Yeah, so we, Big Lots. we went to Big Lots, the story goes, and you know, we were trying to find something else and we came across these and we're like, Ugh, should we try these out? Should we do our first taste test? And you, you were like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I'm like, all right. So we've goes. got this one. Then we've got... Then the interesting one is Dippin' Dots Cotton Candy Popcorn. So we will try this. And before we do each one, we'll read the, read the label. Yeah. And then we have some Sour Patch Kid popcorn, which is kind of interesting as well. So let's start with, do you want to start with this one? Sure. Okay. So, so this one, let me just give you the... That's the nutrition label. That's the nutrition label. Is it uh, organic? And farm fresh? It is uh, non GMO, 150 calories, low sodium. Per serving. And, um, made in America. It's about five servings per a bag. Has to be made in America. And we paid <laughs> we paid three forty nine for this bag. So let's try it out. All right. And what about the smell? First impressions on smell. It smells like popcorn. It's all right. That's a good start, I suppose. And it's just a, looks just like a normal popcorn kernel. kernel. So nothing really Special. different about it. No. Because in the, in the, in the advertising, you see here. Oh, God. Oh, oh there's a... <laughs> So when you put this in your mouth, it tastes like a normal popcorn. You get the aftertaste of the sugar and sour. So like if I'm looking at another piece now, this one's different. You can see a little bit of that Sour Patch Kid oh, the on coloring. there, the coloring. See how it's like a, a blue right there? So yeah, when you put it in your mouth, all of them to it just tastes bit. like popcorn, and then you get that after kick with sugar and the sour. Try it. Yeah, definitely. All right. All right, here it goes. This one has a yellow. It's like my taste buds are confused. Yeah. It went right? in the first second, it tastes like a regular popcorn, but then immediately that sour patch. Gummy flavor kicks in, right? Mm -hmm. And overwhelms the taste of the popcorn. Yeah, so then it doesn't taste like popcorn. It, doesn't taste it like tastes popcorn. like a piece of candy. It tastes like a big, yeah, like a big piece of, of gummies. Well, not, one. not gummies, but sour patch. Oh, well, sour oh, patch gummies. gummies. It's weird. Hmm. That is weird. Yeah. I don't know if I like it or I, or I don't. I think I would, I, this isn't something I would throw out. I would, don't know if I'd buy it again, but I'd, I'd eat it, like, to finish the bag. But I wouldn't, like, throw it out or anything. Or it's not, like, bag? it's not terrible. Well, I don't think it's terrible. I mean, you could still eat it. It's not one of those that you would be like, ugh, I'm never eating them. Or craving for it. But I wouldn't buy it again either. I have another one. I'm trying to still make up my mind. It's not... Disgusting. Uh uh. God, but then it kicks in that sour. It's just. 
instantly at the table. And I love sour stuff. This is kind of sour. Like I'm a sour. I can I can do sour all day long. Yeah, you're a very sour person. And this is. Haha, <laughs> 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 this is sour though. This to me, this is sour. And normally, stuff isn't like that. Sour is not sour to me. All right, so. There it is. There we have it. You know, um, sour than sweet uh, popcorn from Big Lots. From Big Lots. Um, um, like I said, you know, 150 calories per serving, and uh, we're gonna put this in the side so we can try another bag, and then we're able to then compare it and somehow rank them. So let's go down the line for the next one, which is cotton candy. And this one is 13 servings per a container. So there's 13 servings in this. 120 calories per serving. So it's yeah, we'll technically it less, slightly less calories than a Sour Patch. And this was 329 as well, bought at Big Lots. And uh, to much surprise, it's not organic. <laughs> Who knows if it has all kinds of GMO. Uh, no saturated <laughs> or trans fat, no cholesterol, and it's gluten free. So. Oh, it is gluten free. All right. Yeah. What is that going for? It is gluten free. Let's try it. All right. It doesn't really smell like cotton candy to me. I don't know. It does not smell anything. Smells like a cereal of some sort. Yeah, it smells like cereal, I would say. And so like cornflakes. And that's what the inside of the the Almost bag like a, looks like. Like tricks. Yeah. So and so it's very pink. Oop. It's for so, now. They give you a lot. And they're little like pink kernels. You like cotton candy more than I do, so you might like these more than me. I'm not getting the cotton candy. No? Let me try another one. Another one? Well, you're not making a face either, so it means like it's not that bad. Mm -mm. It just tastes like normal popcorn to me. Try one. You don't taste anything else? Mm -mm. Bon appetit. Okay. It tastes like, um, I taste the popcorn, but it has a harder texture outside, a harder shell that um, almost gives it like a, like an apple candy kind of flavor to it, right? I'm not getting anything. I taste the, the, the cotton candy flavor, but it's not overempowering. It's not strong. Like this, this really hits at the tail end. Mm -hmm. This doesn't. This is a bit more bland. This tastes like something you'd put with milk and have like for cereal to me. Yeah. Almost like a Trix. Uh huh. Trix or like a Cocoa Puffs or something. But like I'm, that. I'm only getting a hint of sweet and it doesn't even taste like cotton candy it's to not me. Over and it's actually not that bad. No, it's not bad, but I don't taste the cotton candy. It just tastes sweet. Really? I do. I taste the cotton candy. I don't know. One. Maybe it kicks in by the fourth or fifth one. Fast forward an hour later and we probably finished the bag. <laughs> Still so, hunting for the cotton candy flavor. I taste it. I don't mm -hmm. taste it. Right. But I'm a cotton candy like... Connoisseur? I guess that's what you could call it. Like I don't like the cotton candy that's like pre-made in the little oh, container. No. You're very picky on your cotton candy. It has to be like fresh has cotton fresh. candy. So maybe that's why I'm not getting the... It's not cotton candy enough, but would you buy this again? No. No? No, because it doesn't taste like cotton candy to me. If I wanted to taste cotton candy. So it just tastes like regular popcorn? Yeah, it just tastes like regular For popcorn. For me, I would buy this again. This is not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. All right. So we put this in the side. Let's try the last one. And we'll try to rank them. This one is the frosted caramel popcorn. Caramel popcorn. And this? From um, Big Dippin Lots. Dots. Oh yeah, and it was three twenty nine as well at Big Lots. And then you can see the nutritional facts on the back. 
It's uh, 120 calories per serving. And this is no saturated or trans fat, no cholesterol, and gluten free. Gluten free. Um, this has 13 servings per a container as well. Technically, still not organic. I don't think any of these are. Alright, so let's try this. I don't know. How does it smell like? It just smells like popcorn to me. No. That's the inside of the bag. Caramel, or like some of you like to pronounce it, caramel. Caramel. Caramel? You like to pronounce it like caramel. Alright, so in this right here, oh, oh. that's what the morsel or Kernel. Kernel looks like. Mm. All right. This, to me, tastes like a corn puff. Right, Almost like a beaver nugget? From, uh, mm hmm From, um... From Bucky's. Bucky's? Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like a beaver nugget. Yeah, it does. From Bucky's. I like beaver nuggets. That's Ooh. what that tastes like. I mean, a beaver a nugget. Yeah. Like a corn puff, like you said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tastes just like one of those things you buy at, at Bucky's. It's funny, like all of these taste like different variations of cereal. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, so out of the three. Got to rank them. So. This one. First? This one tastes the most unique to me. Okay. Yeah. This one just tastes like regular popcorn to me. Mm -hmm. And this one tastes like. Um, Bucky's. So out of the most unusual out of the three, I would say this one. Sour Patch? Sour Patch. So if I was going for unusual popcorn, mm. I would pick this. What about just best tasting overall? I would pick this because I like the Bucky's um, beaver, beaver nugget. nugget. So I would pick this. And this, this one I could, the dead Yeah, I could do without the that. And I'm a cotton candy lover. But yeah. I wouldn't that's surprising, but you're saying that for taste, this would be surpassing cotton candy mm -hmm. for, for flavor. So, yeah. Flavor is one, two, three. Oh, you're saying that it surpasses even this? Your well, yeah, milk? because it's unique, but I don't, I wouldn't buy it again. What about so, buying it again? Buying it again, <laughs> I would say this, this one. one. This is the probably top one. Okay. Yeah. So, unique, I would say this one, and this one, I just wouldn't. You would pass on it? Yeah. Well, um, I think we're, we're kind of in alignment there. Whoa. I know, I know. Stop the presses because <laughs> I would also say the same thing. This one right here, um, the, the caramel one, overall best tasting one. Um, and if you never had, uh, you know, a beaver nuggets or I guess ever tasted the, the, the cornflakes. Um, Corn flakes, or corn the puffs. Corn puffs, yeah. <laughs> um, definitely try that out. That one is probably the best overall. I would rank this one right here as the clear winner overall. But mm -hmm. in terms of uniqueness and taste, you're right. I would go with the Sour Patch just to try it once, but probably only once. But at the same time, the only difference in opinion I would say is overall, I would go back to the cotton candy. It's not that bad. You know, mm -hmm. it, it to, to, if you want to have it again and not just have either one or two and then throw it out like we're planning to do in five minutes, yeah. <laughs> I will probably like go with this one here over the Sour Patch, the candy one, and then probably this one is overall long term. So let us know if you have ever tried any of the three of these bags of popcorn. Please comment below and let us know. And we will see you in our next destination. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. All right.